welcome to uh, Carnapec. Um, I am going to show you today how to do a more of a tone painting than a really colorful painting and it's brushless and so we are going to get started and I'm going to try and show you something similar to this. It's uh, very simple. Um, we start off with white. I always like starting off in most of these pieces with white and we're going to just kind of cover this and I have a little tiny bit of color in the background, a little tiny bit of blue and green. I'm gonna kind of mix that up on my palette, get it kind of thin, and because I don't want very much color in this. And But I did have a little bit of color, and I have a little bit of black in there. So I'm gonna just gray this down, just kind of a, a little bit, like kind of like a, 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 a day that's not really that, uh, kind of that Washington gray to over kind of day. So there we go. So we have this kind of a gray sky kind of idea. And um, I'm going to now do the next level. I like to do it, that's the farthest away level. So we're going to do the next level and we're going to make it, I'm gonna kind of mix up some black and some white and, and whatever I had on my finger. And we're just gonna make it just a tone darker and then we're going to make this 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 tree line here by just tapping my finger and trees really do grow up and down and so if you just tap it you can see where I am ending up with this really nice little feeling that there's trees in the background and maybe I want that to be a little bit higher on my piece maybe not that's up to you but you can kind of you can see it if you tap them in you can see where you get those that feeling that there's trees in the background. And I'm just kind of tapping away and kind of getting that tree line there. If I want to make the next, if I want to make another tree line, just a, all I have to do is just add a little bit of, of color and I can add a little bit more black because this is tony, so we don't really need color. But if we tone it just a little bit more, and you can see I'm just adding a little bit black here and I'm all of a sudden getting another bunch of tree line there. And um, I can also do that if I add a little bit of white, I'm just gonna throw in a little bit of white here and then I'm gonna tap it up. And now you see, now I've got a, a tree line of white. So, and I can exaggerate that even more. I can add a little bit of black here. Let me grab some more black and then just exaggerate that. So now I have this black and white kind of tree line going and it's all these tones of grays. And as you can see, I also have some white in the bottom of my finger as I'm laying it flat and I'm getting another. So now we have a water line on this one. So all we need to do for that water line is just simply go back and forth, catching those colors. And we've created our water line. So now, I like to add a little tiny bit of dark in my waterline or light. You have to go one way or the other. And so if I add that little dark here and that little light here, because I have those wider trees, kind of gives you that reflection color. And just kind of pull it down a bit and then just go across it. And so there you've got, you've got that water now. And I'm going to pull it some down further just because I want that waterline to move down. And I'm going to add a little bit more white to it. So you can see where that starts to look a little bit like water. Now we're going to add the island in, okay? That island, I just did that in pretty much like black, just kind of a black gray. It's nice if you can tone it just a little bit different than the, the foreground, so it has its own distinct little, little uh, life here. And I'm going to make some trees by kind of turning my finger on the side and I'm going to get myself some funky little trees here, just, just enough. And I'm using pretty much black because I'm working wet on wet. If you, if you let it dry, it's easier to, to get it to happen. But because I'm kind of trying to do this an all-in-one, we're going to, to just work these down and make these into little trees. And I kind of get my, my finger loaded up. You see how those trees look like they're wispy. That's kind of nice, huh? So I've got this, now I've got this little island here. And I'm going to 
put a little bit of a white line right there. Just a little bit of a white line. I just think that 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 helps me to feel like that we have water and we're just gonna kind of and then as you can see as I went down I added a little bit of color to my to my white to get a little bit of feeling just a, a hint of color in there not hardly any at all but just kind of a hint and we're just going to work our way down the piece so that we we have um, this feeling of depth by, by virtue of the color actually showing up versus no color. And you know, I like to run across, oops, <laughs> sorry. Uh, I need to move this up so I can kind of slide back and forth and just kind of slide it back and forth. And so um, I would like to, let me, I'm going to work a little bit more on this here and just a little bit more um, um, going to get a little bit more black paint here and this is a little bit liquidier just because it's handy and it, you could do this with thick or thin and thick actually works better than thin but i had this available so i'm going to put it up there and i'm just going to emphasize these trees a little bit better I figured they were a little bit too, too skinny scrocky. to be a little bit more interesting and this part down here I'm going to put a little bit of wave action in there I just think it needed a little bit more interest than, than what I had there so so now we've got this level so now let's go to the uh, trees in front and I'm going to going to load my finger up with a little bit of black and, my, and I'm just going to slide down there and give myself these tree trunks. And this will help me to, now this one's not gonna show up very much because it's running into the other one. So you have to remember when you're doing this that if the layers of black are going to be what you're looking for. But you can see I can pop those up and down with using grays and a variety of different color of black and white mixtures. Not really colors, tones. And because I'm using a thinner paint, you have to, it, it's harder to get it to break apart off of your finger. And I will probably have to stop here a minute and add some thicker paint to this in order to get this to happen right. But you can see it, it does sort of happen and then if you wanted to put that trunk back in a bit, you can just simply score it up and you can see that. So now let's go over here. see where this tree starts to evolve and I have actually in my piece I added a little tiny bit of green to this one making it kind of a little bit more alive than the other ones were and so you can see that that and then we have this one in the middle I'm going to add a little bit of gray to this one because you won't see it otherwise Of a, and we're going to do kind of a black gray kind of idea 
you have to figure out how to get it to where you can see it in and it works for you as well. So. And again, if we score up through this, we could kind of find that tree a little bit more. And I'm just using my fingernail to score up through that. And I think, there we go. And um, basically, that's kind of how you do it there. And oh, I, I guess I need some grass here. So let me put a little bit of gray in here. If you um, if you let your paint dry too much, it won't work for you. So I'm kind of re-wetting this because you need it a little bit drier. I'm going to add a little bit more black here because I used it all again. And let's do this one more time. easy piece done with um, you know very little uh, pigment but uh, more black and white thanks for watching